Hello guys, what is up? It's me, it's Sana, and today we're in the kitchen again. Today I decided that I wanted to make some donuts because one of my friends got me this gluten free and lactose free donut mix for my birthday. So we're gonna go ahead and make it because I really want donuts. I haven't had donuts in ages. I already grabbed all of the things I need, I hope, <laughs> I think I did. I needed a frying pan so I have that and I have all the ingredients, a few bowls, bowls, a few bowls, and this mixer. So let's jump straight into it. So here I have this beautiful bowl in which we're going to mix everything and here I have the mix. Let me go and take this off because I need the instructions. We need 150 grams of this stuff. There's 350 in it, so we need to weigh 150 grams. We need 200, 200, 200 grams of milk. I think that's the exact same as liters. That's weird. All right. Um, yeah, that's the first thing we need to do. So let's weigh off 150 grams and measure 200 milliliters for the mix. So I've got the scale. Oh, I got a little bit more, but it's fine. And now we need 200 milliliters of milk. There we go, 200. So now we need to mix this together until it's like a thick dough kind of thing, it says. Then we need to let it rest for like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. But, well, of the microwave, whatever. I'm gonna turn it on just a little bit, just so that it can warm up and that it can, like, rise better, I think. I'm not sure. All right, I'll let that warm up for like three minutes or something. Now it is time to go ahead and mix it so that we can start it, because it needs quite some time. Right. Right, so it said to do this for around like four minutes. I think I did it around like four minutes. Now I need to let it rest for 15 minutes. Right, let's put something on top of it so that we can put it in the microwave. Great. It's not on, but it's still making noise, so it's not like anything can catch on fire, so <laughs> don't worry. Now I'm gonna go and set a timer for 15 minutes. All right, next we need 70 grams of melted butter, one egg, and 50 grams of milk. So, huh, 50. 50 milliliters, milliliters, 50 milliliters. That's 50. Now let's get 70 grams of butter. Ah, oh, there's mold on there. Now I need to get that out. It's gone now. All right. That's too much. That's fine. 
We now have 72 grams of butter, which is good, and we already have one egg, so we can put everything back in the fridge, and now we can wait until it's done. So, let's wait. See you in 15 minutes. <laughs> so, um, I took it out of the microwave, but it hasn't really done anything, as you can see, so... That kind of sucks, but we're still gonna go and continue because I want the donuts. We need to mix the butter, egg, and the milk to a smooth consistency. So let's go and do that. Now we need the milk. And the, the egg. I already put in the butter. Everything is just laying on top of it. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga! So I haven't really mixed it for like 10 minutes, but I think it's alright, because it looks alright. So now I'm gonna go and put it in this bag, because I don't have another bag I can use to make the donuts. So I'm just gonna put it in this bag and cut off a tip and just squeeze it into donuts, because that's what we're supposed to do. So. I'm just praying that this thing is big enough for everything to fit. Because if it's not, then great. I'm gonna use this so that Donuts don't stick on it. If you can eat gluten, you can use flour, but since I can't, I'm gonna use this and pray to God that it helps. I think I used actually a little bit too much. That's fine, as long as it doesn't stick. sure if I can make donuts out of this. Pray that it's gonna work.
smell great. So this is what we end up with. I realized that you guys couldn't even see what I was doing, which is awesome. Um, I'm gonna put it in the thing again in the microwave for like two hours because it needs to rise for two hours. And then I'll be back after two hours and we're gonna try to see if we can make anything out of it.